In Game of Thrones, Sansa Stark has a pretty rough relationship history. She's betrothed to Prince Joffrey, and he turns out to be a psycho. Then briefly there's a plan to marry her to a Tyrell, Loras in the show and Willis in the books, but the Lannisters find out the plan and quickly marry Sansa to Tyrion, who is then sentenced to death and flees the country. In the show, Sansa then goes north and marries Ramsay, the worst psycho of all, though in the books she instead goes to the Vale and is promised to a guy called Harry Harding. Harry's kind of a douche, but he is the heir to the Vale. Marrying him could make Sansa very powerful. So will Sansa settle down with this guy? Maybe not. There's some really interesting evidence in the books that Sansa may have one more suitor. Game of Thrones author George Martin has written some prequel stories set a hundred years before the main series about the adventures of the characters Dunk and Egg. In the first of these stories, Dunk and Egg go to a tournament at Ashford. In the tournament, combatants fight to be named one of five champions of the young Lady Ashford. The final five champions, in order, are Lionel Baratheon, Tybalt Lannister, Leo Tyrell, Humphrey Harding, and Valar Targaryen, which just happens to almost perfectly line up with the men Sansa's married or been promised to. A Baratheon, a Tyrell, a Lannister, and a Harding. There are complications. The Ashford, Tyrell, and Lannister aren't quite in the right order, Lionel might actually be second, and Joffrey isn't a true Baratheon, he's a Lannister who people think is a Baratheon. But still, the pattern lines up too well to be a coincidence, especially given the inclusion of House Harding, which is a pretty obscure house. So the point is that the Ashford champions seem to predict Sansa's suitors, and since the fifth champion is Valar Targaryen, it seems that Sansa will marry or be promised to a Targaryen. So who could this be? After Robert's rebellion, and the deaths of the Mad King, and Prince Rhaegar, and later Viserys, Daenerys seems to be the last of the Targaryens. And unless Westeros introduces gay marriage, Sansa sadly probably won't hook up with her. But there actually are other living Targaryens. At the end of Season 6, we learn that Jon Snow is the son of Ned Stark's sister Lyanna and Danny's dead brother Rhaegar, meaning that Jon is a Targaryen, so maybe Sansa will marry him. This could make sense politically. As the son of Prince Rhaegar, Jon could make a claim on the Iron Throne as King of Westeros, and marriage to Sansa could win him the support of the North. In the show, Jon already rules the North, but he's in a weird tension with Sansa created by Littlefinger. Maybe marriage could settle that conflict. So in both books and show, the politics probably could work. The tricky question is how this would work on a personal level. Jon and Sansa are cousins, and it's not unusual for people in Westeros to marry their cousins. For example, Tywin Lannister married his cousin. But Jon and Sansa grew up believing they were siblings, or half-siblings, because Jon was believed Ned's bastard. They were never very close. Jon and Sansa don't have a single conversation in any of the books, but still, they think of each other as brother and sister, so it does feel pretty gross for them to get together. But would that stop George Martin? In an early outline of Game of Thrones, Martin had Jon and Arya falling in love, so he has considered Snow on Stark romance before. Also, for what it's worth, we do know that Jon likes redheads. So it could go either way. Maybe Sansa will marry Jon, but there is another possibility, because Jon isn't Rhaegar Targaryen's only son. With his wife Elia, Rhaegar had a daughter called Rhaenys and a son called Aegon. We're told that these kids were killed by Gregor Clegane in Robert's Rebellion, but in the books, Varys claims to have saved Aegon and to have secretly raised him to be a perfect king. And in Book 5, Aegon begins an invasion of Westeros. Popular theories suggest that this Aegon is a fake, no true Targaryen at all. Check out the Varys video for details. But Aegon could probably still fit this Ashford pattern because, well, Joffrey isn't a true Baratheon, but he still seems to fit. So could Aegon be the Targaryen Sansa marries? Again, the politics could work. To take over Westeros, Aegon needs allies, and Sansa's the key to the north. This could possibly also work romantically. Sansa and Aegon are both young, pretty, and basically decent people, so it's easy enough to imagine them falling in love. It could also fit nicely with the prophecy of a younger and more beautiful queen coming to cast down Cersei Lannister. Sansa could be that queen. So there are points on both sides. Maybe Sansa will marry her cousin Jon Targaryen, or maybe she'll marry Aegon Targaryen. Or maybe this pattern means nothing and she'll marry someone else, or no one at all. It's too early to know for sure, but after Sansa's history of evil exes, you can only hope she'll end up with someone she likes. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Jon's parents or about Varys and Aegon, check out the video links in the description. Also, if you haven't read Dunk and Egg, the Game of Thrones prequel stories, you might like to check them out. They're much shorter and lighter than the main Thrones series, and they're well worth a read if you're a fan. 
There's an Amazon link to buy them below, which supports this channel at no extra cost to you. Thanks also to the patrons supporting this channel on Patreon, including Mark Nelson, Matthew Locapelli, Jeffrey Schull, Jessica Aldrich, Reed McElfresh, Oriku Saki, Samantha K. Enriquez, Ali and Bill Quinn, VC Gillyhoon, Raculot, Wurup, and Wheatman. Cheers.